My name is Tom Chambers. I come from Newport, County Mayo. I've been an active person for, for all my years, 66 years of age. But in 1981, I had an unfortunate accident driving a car. And while I get this chance now, I could mention to advise people, never drive when you're tired. That's what happened to me. But I know I eventually ended up in the rehab in Dunleary to spend the rest of my didn't just spend the rest of my life confined to a wheelchair. And since then, that wheelchair is my best friend. Prague is a, is a very historic city. It's full of it, but unfortunately for Tom, very, very, you couldn't maneuver the wheelchair, you know, especially with a manual wheelchair like I have myself that I have to push, you know. And it's a pity because all we could do is look in and maybe ask somebody coming out what's in there or what's in there. Or would you go in and take a photograph for me, you know? It's, that's when you don't realise you miss your legs, you know? We're well ahead of other countries as far as access issues. But that doesn't say we should stop. The real old historic building, like, you know? And it was no roof or nothing, just a wall there. And little gravel paths go into it, you know? And signs up on the wall, like, you know? And I would love to have gone in. But I just couldn't get in, and my PI was about me, and there's no way she be able to push me, you know, and rough gravel and everything. It's a dangerous life, but I'm sure the signs on the walls had a lot to say and tell about the, about the history of the, the area. There was a little museum, a small little museum beside it, like. So uh, I got inside all right, anyhow, and uh, the first game the staff was very friendly and they were showing me about and showing me this. And so I said, uh, what's this door for, you know? Oh, this is the emergency, in case you a fire and everything, you'd have to go out. So uh, he opened the door. What was there was a big 12-inch, 14-inch step. So there was just silence. <laughs> he said, I'll show you the toilet. <laughs> so I had to laugh, you know. So there is fun and humour in it, you know. A lot of people think, you know, access is just for wheelchair users alone. But it's a whole lot more than that. Like, you know, you have, you have old women or old men with their Zimmer frames. You have the people recuperating from operations. You have the young pregnant woman with her pram. You have the man with her woman with a, a, after getting his limb pitted or this and that and everything. You have um, uh, people with growth restrictions. They used to use the unfortunate dirty wood one time, they called them dwarfs, the horrible one. And you have people, as I say, people, I'm into two and about Ireland, we nearly enough as bad as America, obesity, it's a big problem. But also the big problem is tourist-wise, people coming from different countries, and even, even in Ireland, 